Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from a sort of interest in life.com and you're joining me, I am extremely excited to say, on my first ever kayak trip. Absolutely amazing so far. Yeah, got the oars, got me slippers and we are floating. First thing that I've noticed is that as we look across the banks here, being this low in the water and uh, even though I'm on canals that I've known and boated up and down many times, it's instantly got a more sort of really, I don't know, gritty exploration feel about it. And as this was my first ever trip, I thought I'd better test out a few camera angles and put something together so I can see how it'll all look. I quite like this camera angle, and as you can see, it appears as if the camera is slightly uh, sort of moving after the kayak moves, but that's just the image stabilisation. And uh, I've got a few good ideas lined up. You can see there's an awful lot of oil in the canal here. A little bit of diesel had washed down from somewhere upstream, I'm not sure where. Um, and, well, I've got a good idea that's hopefully going to be like a nice sort of over-the-shoulder shot, so you can see me paddling away and stuff like that. But it's got to be said, as Helena just gets a little moment on camera there, um, don't tell her that, for heaven's sake. Um, I just thought it would be nice to really record the first, well, the maiden voyage, and hopefully this will be the first of many to come. I think I better just point out, for anybody who hasn't seen any of my previous videos, then just around the corner there, you can just about see it, that is the boat that I live on, which explains why I thought getting this lovely little kayak would be such a great idea. And it's got to be said, so far I can't believe how good it is. Absolutely wonderful. More camera angle testing here, and I know now that I need to put the camera a little bit further on the uh, front of the kayak, looking back up at me, and I've got some very good feelings about where this is going to go to, and hopefully this is going to lead to some of the best videos yet. Just as when you're on a boat, it's amazing how going upstream and through a bridge is slowing me down so much. So much, in fact, that I've got to stop filming so I can paddle a little bit better through here. <laughs> I thought I'd better give you an actual view of what it's like um, to see me paddling along instead of just all onboard footage. And there I am, going along in my little kayak. Oh, I'm coming closer to the camera. Surely I'm about to say something very insightful and enlightening. Yeah, kayaking, it's awesome. Brilliant. <laughs> So I paddled up to almost Church Bank and thought, hang on a second, I've only got my slippers and hopefully some keys with me. And I just thought, I'm going to stop, go on Facebook, go on Instagram and just let the water flow just start to push us back down. It's a very slow rate that it pushes us, but if you can see there, maybe not because we're starting to spin a little, but we are steadily, steadily washing back from down there. So I just thought I'd say a few words to you. Oh, amazing. This is the Intex Challenger K1 inflatable kayak. Uh, when I got it out of the box, it did have a puncture already. So I had a little sort of um in and ah in uh, time of was I going to keep it, was I going to send it back. But I've patched it up and as you can see, it has proved to be absolutely amazing. Um, if we have a look here, just to give you a quick look, you can see you've got a net here, which I've just got my slippers under, because, well, you don't really want to wear shoes, and in fact you'd struggle to get much under that space. A cargo net under the front, and obviously you've got a grab rope on the front there, and one that goes around the back. The seat here, it's okay, I, obviously because this is my first time I need to get to grips with it properly, but it has these straps that you can lock into place and adjust it so it's for, further forward or further backwards. But really, it's once again, beyond the actual physical thing of the kayak itself, it's the experience that I absolutely love. And I can't really ask for much more than this. Apart from maybe some beautiful, blistering warm weather, there's not really much you can add. A couple of things of note. I, I don't recommend you go on a kayak or in the canal without a life jacket as well you never know what would happen i certainly don't fancy tipping over and hitting me head on a side like that for example well what can you say it's really pretty much straight up i'm in a kayak it's floating i'm paddling away and absolutely loving it oh i knew this would be one of the best things i'd ever bought 
uh, something of note as well, and people don't really believe me when I say this, but this is what I would describe, and I'm sure you would, as a uh, portable inflatable craft, which to go on the uh, canals that British Waterway owns, which is pretty much all of them, you do actually need a licence, which is about £43 a year at the minute. Don't quote me specifically on that, but that's just something of note. I truly cannot begin to tell you how much I have enjoyed that. It's going to be a little bit awkward to try and pack it up in stores. As you know, I don't have much space for that sort of thing. So I can't put it on the roof because of the burning embers coming out of the chimney there. So it's going to be interesting to see how this all goes down and where I can find to put it, especially now that it's absolutely soaking wet. But that's just absolutely fantastic. Um, I think I'll keep it here and I'll go back out on it later. I'll just say thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos for a load of the general sort of outdoorsy stuff. And obviously life on board good old Tilly here. And well, till the next time, make sure you subscribe, like the Facebook page, check out my books, The Narrowboat Lad and The Narrowboat Lad Living the Dream about life afloat. And until the next time, have a fantastic day and I hope to see you around soon. Farewell.